First, you'll need to power up your HiPot tester. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the instrument. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Insert the remote interlock key into the signal input terminal on the rear panel. The instrument will not output voltage unless you use this key. This allows the user to wire the instrument to the doors of a DUT enclosure. This is a safe workstation best practice. Press the power button on the front panel of the HiPod. This instrument will automatically navigate to the main menu. The HiPod instruments have versatile user interfaces that includes a touch screen and two push buttons. There are three main touch keys and two buttons on the HiPod interface. Use the Perform Test key to navigate to the Perform Test window. Use the Back key to return to the previous menu. Use the Home key to return to the main menu. The buttons are designed for operators that are wearing high voltage gloves. Use the Toggle button to scroll through the menu parameters. Use the My Menu Select button to either make a menu selection or choose the My Menu option. My Menu allows you to configure your own custom menu. Once you set up your own screen, you can access it at any time by hitting the My Menu button. Touch the Setup Test Menu icon, then press Add File to create a new test file. Input the test file name and hit Enter. Press Add Step to create a new test. Press Test Type to change the test. Select ACW to change Step 1 to an AC HiPot test. Press Enter to confirm. To change the test voltage input the numeric value on the touch screen and touch the Enter key to confirm. To navigate between test parameters, either input the value and press the Enter key or swipe left and right to change parameters. Once all parameters have been inputted, press the Perform Test icons. You will be prompted to save your test file changes. Press Enter to confirm. The Perform Test screen displays the following parameters. File name, test step number, test type, status indicator, test time, test voltage, leakage limit, and load button for loading test files and results button for viewing test results. You could also press and hold a parameter to move it to a different portion of the screen. This allows you to customize the order of the displayed parameters on your performed test screen. Finally, we're going to show you how to connect the HiPod to a DUT and run the test sequence. You're going to need the following accessories. Red high voltage lead, black return lead, you can also use the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads. We're going to show you how to make test connections using the test lead as well as the universal adapter box. Using test leads, connect the black return lead to the return terminal. Then connect the high voltage lead to the high voltage terminal. Connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT and connect the high voltage lead to the current carrying conductors of the DUT. When using the universal style adapter box, connect the adapter box to the continuity check and high voltage terminals. Then connect the black return lead to the return terminal. The continuity check lead is used to check for ground continuity for a class 1 device. Connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT, then plug the three prong cord of the DUT into the adapter box. Close the DUT enclosure door and stand back. Push the test button to run your test sequence. To view your test results, press the results icon. Press the individual step to get detailed results.